and we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be doing my most requested video, which was will be the Culinarian 1 to 50 power leveling guide. And I think the reason why it's been the most requested is because Culinarian can be one of the more difficult crafts to level because of the sheer amount of materials that are required to make each item, up to six in every case. So this power leveling guide will show you how to get there as quickly as we possibly can from 1 to 50. So, as always, hello from Blue. So, we are at the Culinarian Guild here in Limsa Laminza, which is just north of the Adventurers Guild in Upper Limsa Laminza, right here. That's where the Culinarian Guild is. So, we're going to aim to do this as quickly as we possibly can. And I already have, as well, prepared all the materials that I need for the entire grind. So, hopefully. All these materials I have right here, which I will detail in the description of the video, will cover exactly how to get it. I'm obviously skipping the quest as quickly as I can because this is a power leveling guide. If it's your first time ever doing the craft, then I would recommend reading everything, watching the cutscenes and so on, and just seeing the story because every class in this game does have its own story quest. Okay, so I'm now available to be a culinarian. So you see Culinarian unlocked. So first things first, I'm going to equip my level 1 skillet. And whoops, he's naked. So let's wear some some gear. It's not really important. It's just so he's not running around naked. So let's see that one and this one. Any legs? I guess that will do. Um, not unless I literally get him to wear the uh, cloud outfit just for the sake of this video. Yeah, let's do that, shall we? Just because this is a power leveling guide, it's just not like he needs any crafting gear anyway. So, what I'm gonna now do is make a new item set. So let's see here. Reassign gear. Yes. Let's put that there. Cool. So, first things first, let's now do the level 1 quest. So the level 1 quest will give us a whole bunch of shards, which is always welcome. And he's going to ask us for a maple syrup, which I do have prepared. So we can see here, I've got one maple syrup ready for the occasion. So let's hand it in. High quality makes no difference in the earlier levels. It will make a difference for later on, but for now it makes no difference. So that's it. That's the level 1 quest done. Complete. Right. So where we're going to be spending pretty much the rest of this video and the rest of the way to 50 almost is at the Drowning Wench, which is the main adventurer's guild of Limsa Laminza. So if you've done the story mode, you should have come across it uh, when you were getting to the point of unlocking Sustasha, which is the first dungeon in the game. So anyway, it's right here. And the reason we're going here is because this is where the Limsa Laminza leave me is which is where we're going to be accepting all of our leaves from so the general approach i do for the power leveling guys is to come to the appropriate leave me in the town where the guild is depending on the craft and to simply for each level range accept the leave which is the most valuable in terms of experience so we see here 480 1092 1770 so obviously this one is the one with the biggest turn in so it said here for grilled trout, so let's accept it, and that's it. So I have prepared a, a couple of grilled trouts for this occasion, so let's go. And the reason why my bars are full is simply because I copied my interface over from Mifri. Not that it makes any difference, but let's uh, clear out some space at least, just so I can have sprint on here so uh, you can copy interfaces over from other characters I will link in the description how to do that as well so let's just empty it out I will reassign all this stuff when all of my classes are 50 on blue but for now it's just a distraction so let's get rid of it all get rid of that and it's easy to reassign everything in the game anyway because all you have to do is drag the buttons from the actions menu and place them on the bar in the appropriate place so anyway 
So that's done. So let's turn in this first quest. So we have a high quality grilled trout. Now one thing you can do when turning in a quest, you can either drag them like this to turn them in, but the quicker way, especially on PC, is to put your mouse over the box, right click, and then you see it makes it immediately available for you. So you just click it like that, done. So I don't have to look through my bags to do it. You just right click the box and do hand over. If you're curious how to lay out your interface this way, you go to character configuration, you go to character, and you select here expanded. So normal mode, if we look at it, is the original tabbed version, as you can see. And then when you change it to expanded, I press apply, you go to back to your infantry and you can see it's open like this. So this makes it just easier to see everything in your bags at once. So anyway, let's hand in this grilled trout, hand over, yes. And because it's a high quality trout we're turning in, we'll get 3,400 experience for this first leave with just one grilled trout. And just like that, we are inches, inches away from level 5. So one item I actually did forget to wear um, for the sake of this is I'm going to just wear some uh, experience bonus gear just for the sake of it. These items like the Helm of Light, the Friendship Circlet, stuff like that, you can wear them and they will also affect uh, crafting as well. So it won't just affect your... Um, like actually, I'll, wear, I'll go without it, you know. But you can wear these if you want. These anything that boosts items below a certain level will boost your crafting classes as well. So anyway, we need to head back to the um, guild. But the first things first, let's make a table salt just for the sake of getting ourselves to level five. So if I had been wearing a headpiece, it would have got me straight to level five with that one uh, grilled trout. Now, thankfully, in Limsa itself, to get some extra materials, it's really, really quick. You just come to this guy, this N Engarand. He's a good one to remember for crafting because he's he supplies a lot of materials that you might need. Let's say one distilled water, that's all we need. So then, let's see here. Let's just synthesize. So, the simple of simple of crafts. Basic synthesis. We have one button before level five, so... We just have to press it and then we will be done to level 5. Done. So you see, from one grilled trout and just one random synthesis, I hit level 5. So, first things first, I'm now going to go to back to the Culinarian Guild. The quickest way to get back there if you're attuned to the Aethernet is to click here, Aetherite, Aethernet, Culinarian's Guild. And we're going to quickly turn in the level 5 quest. I do recommend you do the quest at the same time, the class quest, just so that you don't have to do a whole bunch of them right at the end. It's better to just do it on the way. So let's do now the level 5 quest. And for this level 5 quest, we actually do need to turn in another grilled trout. So for this, I've prepared two grilled trouts, which I will obviously detail in the description of the video. So again, hand it over. It makes absolutely no difference at the beginning whether these are high quality or not for the class quests. But I made everything high quality anyway, just for the sake of it. Um, so that I could, um, you know, I wouldn't have to confuse which one's which. You see, everything I made is high quality, except for this meat macabre, because I bought it from a vendor. So anyway, that's the level 5 quest done. So let's now return to the... Drowning Wench, and let's accept the level 5 leave quest. So now, with the level 5 leave quest, is when we're going to have to start doing it multiple times. Now, I'm not going to show over and over again me turning in the items over and over again. There's no point. But I will be just doing this as quickly as I possibly can, and we can just resume as we go along. So here we go. Again, Tradecraft leaves. Because I am equipped as a culinarian, it's automatically uh, selected culinarian from the submenu. And then you see here, so 3,400, 4,000, 2,000. So obviously this is the one you want, the one that's the most valuable. We need to turn in a jack-o'-lantern, so let's do that now. Cool, 
So we need to turn in one jack-o'-lantern. So let's quickly sprint there. You can choose to either go back to the Aethernet and use the Aetherite, or you can just sprint this way. It takes roughly the, the equivalent time to get there, whether you sprint this way or the other way. Okay, so here's Vango Zango. Let's turn in the Jack-O-Lantern handover. Yes, I want to turn in high quality because high quality gives you 100% bonus. So for this one, we're going to get 8,000. So you see, just like that, I'm level 7. So I'm going to do this a couple more times until I'm level 10. And then we will continue. Okay, so I turned in four Jack-O-Lanterns for the Leave Quest Jack of All Trades to get me to level 10. So I've come straight back to the Culinarian Guild and let's do the level 10 quest. So accept... Again, read through this if you've done it, if you haven't done it before, see the story mode. But because I've obviously done this before, I am skipping it for the sake of this video. So let's, we now need to turn in two grilled dodos, which I got prepared, which again is detailed in the description. And we'll skip the cutscene. In this case, I'm just accepting the bronze pieces because obviously at level 50, I can then just use the gear I already had. The next leave we want to do is a leave called Pretty Enough to Eat, which is accepted from the same leave meat. So I've already pre-accepted it. And looking at this list, I'm going to have to turn this in roughly seven times to get to level 15. So let me turn in the first one. Okay, and then let's turn in these grilled cups and over. As you can see, I've got seven ready in advance. This is going to give us 15,000 experience. So we're level 11 already. So I'm going to turn this in as many times as is needed to get us to level 15 and then we will continue. Okay, so now that I'm level 15, I'm going to do the level 15 quest. And to get to level 15, I had to turn in six high quality grill cups for that leave quest. So now let's quickly do the level 15 quest. Cool, so we need to talk to Ingham. Now we need to talk to May Timmaga. Cool, and we're gonna give Mitimiga a meat Mikabo. And you can buy these from a vendor for like five gil. They're like really, really cheap. So it's worth checking as well if any of these quest materials can be bought from a vendor along the way. I will link in the description where to buy them from. So anyway, let's uh, finish this quest. Complete. Yes, complete. Cool. So now... We're done with the level 15 quest. Let's go do the next leave. So if we return again to the Aft Castle. I find I'm doing these power leveling guys quicker and quicker and quicker. The more I do them. So like I said, you have the choice. You can do power leveling. You can do the by yourself method. It's up to you. But both are fine as long as you know what to do with the craft once you hit level 50. So anyway... The next leave quest we want. So I okay, guess see. Tradecraft leaves level 15. So this one's worth 9,000. This one's worth 8,000. This one is worth 13,000. And I need to turn in walnut breads. This will require us to travel to Aleport as well. So let's accept. So you have a choice of how you get to Aleport. You can either teleport. If you set it as a favorite destination. It could be in your benefit. Or you can run straight to the Aethernet which is just here, teleport to the Fisherman's Guild and then take the ferry for about 30 gil. So it's up to you. You can either teleport directly there or you can do it this way. It's completely up to you which method you prefer. I personally, I'm not too worried about the cost of the teleports because you make more gil than the cost of the teleports back from the quest rewards. But it's up to you which way. So for now, let's just take it the cheaper way, let's say. So we're going to here, seek purchase passage to Aleport. 40 gil, yes. Cool. So, 
again let's go turn this in so it's pretty much right next to the eighth right so it's like I said completely up to you if you want to teleport here you can take advantage of the favored destinations if you wish so anyway let's turn in this um, leave we're gonna turn in a high quality walnut bread yes cool so this will give us 26,000 experience so that pretty much almost dinged us to 16 in one go so what you can do to save money go to the Aetherite itself say register favor destination okay and which one to overwrite for now I'll just overwrite I guess Captain Drybone for now and then yeah and then I also have because I've got an authenticator for the game it allows me to as assign one free teleport so my free teleport is for Limsa. my preferred is for Aleport for now just so I can get around quickly when turning these in so I'm anticipating having to turn these in roughly let's see it says eight times to reach level 20 and when I get to level 20 we will see how many it took and we will continue okay so I turned this in a total of eight times in order to get to level 20 so let's now return and do the level 20 quest and the level 20 quest is going to require us to turn in a dried prune which again can be bought from vendor for next to nothing and I will link in the description where to buy it from and the reason why you might want to buy something from vendor over the market board is because for the sake of this quest you only need one whereas when you're on the market board you might literally only have the option to buy like 50 of them so it's really up to you if you want to buy 50 and sell the other 49 or if you want to just go ahead and buy the one and i found as well that the sahagan if you've leveled up the sahagan beast tribe has quite a lot of useful uh, crafting materials for culinarian which otherwise would have to be gathered or bought from the market board so it's worth checking them out when i made all these materials in order to get to all the materials ready for this power leveling guide pretty much every mat I needed was from um, vendors most of them I think there's only a couple that weren't and a couple that weren't um, I could buy them from the market board for a few gil a, a piece so making these materials was really a lot easier than I thought it would be the only thing that would be difficult for you with culinarian would be if you're trying to complete the crafting log and make one of every item because the amount of materials you'll need will be insane so anyway let's see the next quest so here tradecraft leaves for level 20 20,000 12,000 5,000 so we're going to do this one feast of all souls which will require us to turn in a serving of salmon menu i don't know how to pronounce that word so let's accept and this is going to require us to teleport back and forth from Quarry Mill. So what I'm going to do is, again, like exactly with the same I did for Aleport. When I teleport to Quarry Mill the first time, I'm going to set it as a favored destination instead of Aleport so that I can save the money when I teleport back and forth. And I can keep going back to Limsa for free because it's my free teleport. So again, a right, register favor destination, replace Aleport. Yes. Just so we can get a good discount when we teleport here. Let's uh, give this in to the leave guy. So let's hand over. Yes. And looking at this as well, we're going to get 41,000 experience just for turning it in the first time. And I'm anticipating having to turn this in a total of nine times to get this uh, to get to level 25. So I will turn in as many as re is required to get to level 25. And then we will continue. Okay, so I had to turn in those salmons a total of, if I just check the list, nine times in order to hit level 25. So now I'm straight back here in the Culinarians Guild and let's do the level 25 quest as quickly as you can. So for the level 25 quest, we need to hand in an Algo steak and... I think for the Algo steak, it still doesn't matter at this point if it's high quality or not, but from level 
30 onwards, then all the quest requirements will need to be high quality turned in for, for the class quests. So I'm turning in high quality anyway, just because I'm all about high quality, let's say, but that's it. Okay, so that's done. So now let's proceed on with the next leave quest. So you can see the pattern of how I do this. It's a very simple thing. And I will obviously do this. I've already done this for Level Worker and for Weaver. And now for Culinarian. And I will do it for the other five uh, classes as well. But it's just to just show in practice how easy it is. In case you're curious. In case you want a shopping list of all the materials you need to make. So we're now running straight back to the leave me here in the drowning wench let's see miss tim mokri so let's uh, accept the next quest so this is how i calculate which one to do so this one has 33,000 19,000 8,000 so obviously we want this one and we need to turn in nine chicken stocks now do not be overly concerned about this because when you craft them you craft them in batches so let's see here chicken stock you make six per craft and you don't need that many materials pretty much all of these materials can be bought from vendor as well so it's really simple to make loads of these and i'm anticipating having to do this 10 times which is why i prepared 90 chicken stock so i believe this is also still within quarry mill Quarry Mill is still a favoured destination, which means the price has gone down from like 550 plus gil to just just under 300 gil to teleport there, and obviously free teleport straight back to Limsa. So let's turn in the first time. Let's see how much experience we get overall. And remember as well, guys, like I said, is like it's very important to turn in high quality items, get double the reward, just so that you basically get twice as much out of your leave allowances. Uh, so that you can get it done in half the time. So let's hand over. Yes. So complete. So there we go. 66,000 experience. I'm level 26 already. And again, same thing. I'm going to do this over and over again until I hit level 30. So when I hit level 30, we will continue. Okay, so we had to turn in that quest a total of nine times in order to hit level 30 in quarry mill so yet again i am back with the guild master in the culinarian guild let's do the level 30 quest okay so now let's speak to diving dove right now let's talk to nono pizza and like I said, guys, if you want, pay attention to the story, read through it. It is a fun story. I won't spoil it in this video, in case you haven't seen it before. And we need to give him a high-quality smoked raptor, which is what I've prepared before. So sand over. Cool. So next, let's turn it in. And then let's do the next leave quests towards level 35. So again, hand it into the guildmaster. Yep, complete, done. And there's straight back to the drowning wench. And we'll see which leave quest we need to do next. So again, a finet, the aft castle. Sprint a Rooney. So it's nice, we're, we're making way more gil than we're spending on teleports, that's for sure. So again, leave me. Tradecraft leaves. So let's see, 45,000, 31,000, 13,000. So obviously we want this one pretty as a picture in Costa del Sol. And for this we need to turn in five dark vinegars. And I'm anticipating for this quest, we're going to have to turn it in 10 times. So again, let's go. And if you haven't already, then set Costa del Sol as a favored teleport. You can see from Linza, with it being a favored teleport, it costs 99 gil to teleport there. Because it's still within Lonosia. That's why it's so cheap to get there anyway. And then quickly turn in the leave. Who is 
this Riri Pon, who is right here. And hand over, yes. And for this, now we're getting into the realm of, see, almost 91,000 experience for the one leave. So again, I'm going to keep this going until we hit level 35, and then we will continue. Okay, so moving on. It took me a total of 11 turn-ins, so 55 Dark Vinegars, to get myself to level 35. So let's quickly do the level 35 quest. So let's turn it in. Okay, so we need to talk to Letitia. Let's see. Okay. We're going to give a Letitia, a Letitia, a Ratatouille. So let's hand that over. And it has to be a high quality Ratatouille as well. Okay, so that's that. Done. So that's the level 35 quest done. So next, we're going to do the next leave, which will take us to the Observatorium this time. So let's check the name, let's check the reward and what we need to turn in. So again, we're doing every single leave on this power leveling guide, as you know, from this leave person right here. Right, so, Tradecraft, oops, Tradecraft leaves, let's see here, 19,000, 64,000, 41,000, so obviously this is the one I want. So remember that these numbers are doubled, so if I'm getting 64, it means that in theory I'm getting almost 130,000 by the time I turn this in, so accept and I need to turn in Knight's Bread, and that's it. Now, you have two choices of how you can get quickly to the Observatorium. You can either teleport to Camp Dryhead, Dragonhead, sorry, and just run south until you get to the Observatorium. Or you can go to Forgo Float and you can run through the zone line. It's completely up to you which one you might prefer. But in our case, let's just go to Camp Dragonhead. And as before, we can set just for now our... Dragon, sorry, Count Dragon Head as our favorite destination, just so that every time we come back here, it's a. Let's see, so let's replace Quarry Mill. Yep. Just so that every time we come back here, the um, teleport is cheaper, and then obviously we still have our free teleport straight back to Limsa Liminza. So, again, like I said, teleport to Count Dragon Head, run south. It takes half a minute I guess to run here 30 seconds it's really not that big of a deal and uh, it might seem annoying to some people having to do these sort of mini journeys every time you want to turn in one leave but I've already showed that for the sake of a few seconds that one leave will give me 20 30 40 50 plus percent more experience per turn in than the other ones will so I really feel that a few seconds extra traveling time is worth the experience gained. It really, really is. And, I mean, come on, we're already level 35. It really didn't take that long to get this far. And according to my list, I'm anticipating having to turn this in 10 times to finish myself to level 40. But then I will obviously make sure that I've got exactly the number for when I release the video, which is all obviously detailed in the description as normal. So let's turn in the oops let's turn in the leave yep turn this in night bread hand over yes yeah i wanted to turn in high quality 500 percent bonus so that one gave me 130,000 experience so i'm going to keep repeating this over and over again until i'm level 40 as usual and then we will continue Okay, so we're progressing on very quickly because you're level 40 already. I had to turn in the quest a total of 10 times, so you need 10 Nightbreads for that part of the quest. And let's quickly do the level 40 quest. Okay. There we go. So again, we're talking to Letitia. Yep, so we're going to hand in a Blood Curran Tart a pastry fish and a chamomile tea all of them have to be high quality as well so hand over of 
cool. Let's skip. Yep. Complete. Awesome. So, two more sets of leaves to go, and then we're done. So let's see, so the next one, the next leave is going to take us to White Brim Front, which is in Corphus, just to the west of Camp Dry Dragonhead, sorry. And then the last quest is going to take us to St. Connor's Find in um, Mordona. There we go. Let's see, leave, tradecraft leaves, let's see, so 32,000, 54,000, 83,000 to turn in five squares of Ronald Berry cheese, so let's accept. Obviously that one is worth way, way more. So again, Cam Dragon Head, and again anticipating having to do this about 10, 11 times or so. I've prepared the materials for 11 times. You can see I've got five, 55 Ronald Berry cheese. So the way to get to White Brim from Camp Dragonhead, so Camp Dragonhead right here, White Brim is right there. So you need to run straight to the west past the Gates of Judgment, which hopefully we're going to be looking at a lot in a lot more detail in a couple of months once the expansion comes out. Now that we can get towards... Dravania through Ishgard to the northwest of the continent. So I hope um, you're all excited for the expansion as much as I am. And to be honest, nearly everything we're doing now is just preparation for the expansion, getting all these levels out the way. That's the whole purpose of everything I'm doing with all these different guides. And the reason as well why I'm leveling these up again, because I already hit level 50 on all classes, on Mifri a long time ago but the reason I'm doing it all again is because I'm gonna be I just want to give myself the option to have more than one specialism going into the expansion so each character will be limited to three specialisms but because I'm leveling up three characters in theory it means I'll be able to get all of them so I won't have to keep changing them like they could just pick a specialism and keep it forever so anyway here is the turn in so let's hand it over Five Ronald Berry cheese, yes. And done, finished. So we got from that one leave 167,000 experience. So I'm going to keep doing this until we hit level 45. Like I said, anticipating having to do this 11 times. And then we will continue. Okay, so moving on. We had to turn in the quest 11 times as was predicted for the Ronald Berry cheese. And we're again back to do the level 45 quest. So almost there to level 50. So turn in this quest. Again, we're going to jump over to Latisha. Hand over the items we need. Yep. Okay. So we're handing over a Dazamel Gratin, high quality. Cool. Let's hand this over. Skip cutscene, yes. Complete, and that's it. So that's the level 45 quest done. And now we're at the last step. Now this is a step towards 45 to 50. So we're gonna go now back to the Drowning Wench. We're gonna see the last leave that we need to do in order to hit level 50. And according to my list, we're gonna probably need to turn it in about 11 times to get to level 50, but we will see. And then at level 50, we'll do the level 50 quest and we'll see um, if there's any changes to the culinarian story. Because the... Anyway, let me quickly accept the trade leave and then I'll explain what I mean. So here, 67,000, 39,000, 106,000. So that means 212 or maybe 213,000 to turn this in in St. Connor's Find. And you need just one crown pie per turn in. So let me accept... The quickest way to get there is to teleport to Revenant's Toll. Now, what I was saying before in terms of the level 50 quest is that when I did the level 50 quest on Mifri, which you can also see on my 
YouTube channel is you basically are preparing a banquet for Nanimo, who is the queen of Ulda. Now, unfortunately, as of the end of patch 2.55, and you should know this by now if you've seen the opening for Heaven's Ward as well. So spoilers, spoilers, mute yourself for 10 seconds if you don't want to hear this bit. So mute, mute, mute if you want to skip this bit. Um, unfortunately, Nanamo is no longer around uh, if you finish patch the 255 story before Heaven's Ward. She gets killed. Now, what I'm curious about is if they fixed this Culinarian quest for level 50. So when I do the level 50 Culinarian quest, will it actually reflect the fact that because I've already finished in the game the patch 2.55 story, that she is actually no longer around. So I guess we'll find out like if they've actually fixed it. Because it'd be very, very odd if I finish the level 50 quest and she's just sitting there in a chair, even though I've already seen in the story quest otherwise. So anyway, let's turn this in. Crown pie. Hand over. High quality, of course. That's the whole point. Complete. Boom. 213,000 experience per leave. So like I said, I'm anticipating having to turn this in roughly 11 times in order to finish myself to level 50. And that's it. So when we hit, or we're about to hit level 50, we will continue. Okay, so we've very quickly moved on and we're about to hit 50, just like that. Simple as that. 11th time I'm turning this in. Hand over. Yes. Boom, boom, complete, done. So now level 50 Culinarian, just like that. And I've earned Reclaim, which is always great. So what I'm now going to do, I'm going to quickly return to Limsa. I'm going to finish level 50 Culinarian quest. And then I'm going to equip all the latest gear I have. So it really was a simple process, as usual, getting this class straight to 50 using leaves and power leveling. And like I said, the options are either power level or... Uh, do it manually the slow way on your on your own it's up to you which way you do it uh, I there are advantages and disadvantages to both so it pick whichever suits your style of gameplay or what's available to you so anyway here is the quest for level 50 so it's a revenge of the chess pain needs you to prepare a banquet fit for a sultan a sultana that's interesting animals due to receive sultana of Uldar. wow the son has basically requested, blah, 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 not do so. She must sample your culinary skills. All were good and pleasing and shake. Pleasing the Sultana would win a claim. Right now, she's keen to dine on something tasty. So looking at this, it doesn't look like the quest has changed. Because unfortunately, as I said before, she's no longer with us. Technically at this point, because Blue's already finished the 255 story, she's dead. So... But for this, apparently, she's going to be very much alive. So, that's very, very strange. Let's see, know about the Sultana, her grace is possessed, blah, blah, blah. So, we're basically, um, we need to speak to a bunch of people in Linz and Lavinza to find out what the Sultana's taste for food is. And that, that will define what menu we have to prepare for her. And obviously, I've already prepared them in advance, so that's no problem. So, again, we need to go talk to the next one in lower, right there. Uh, sorry. Someone, gate, where is that one? So, I need to go to the... Down here, ideally. To near the main Aetherite, and then go... I can teleport from the Aetherite to the Arcanist Guild, just to save myself a bit of running. So it is a very quick process when you know which items you need to get ready for in advance for your crafting and so on and get them all made by a friend or whatever. If you have a list like you can find in the description of the video, it is a very, very quick process. It really doesn't take long. It, there might be a little bit of journeying time obviously going back and forth to turn in the leaves. But overall, I mean, it is getting an entire class 1 to 50 after all. So it's really, really not that big of a deal. So anyway, a for right, a oops, a for right, sorry, a for net, Arcanist Guild. Cool, and then we can um, equip 
the proper gear and remove this ridiculous set I've been wearing throughout this video. So let's finish. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so now we're going to go back and speak to Letitia, who's at the Culinarian Guild. So again, Aphanet Shard, Culinarian Guild. Cool. And then let's go talk to Letitia. Okay, good to see you returned. I take your investigation, whatever. Four potential items, prepare them all. Okay, do us proud. So we have to prepare these four items and take them to the Bulwark Hall. So we need a high quality eft steak, a high quality beef stew, a serving of trapper's quiche, high quality, and a crowned pie, high quality. As you can see, I've got them all ready in advance. So we need to go to the Bulwark Hall. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use the A for that and teleport back to the Aetherite Plaza because that's the closest place to go to. And then we're going to quickly sprint there. So let's go... Uh, wait, wrong way, this way. It's finding my bearings. So the Bulwark Hall is right here. So that's is this, this is why the Aetherite Plaza is the closest teleport because this is the closest... Aethernet Crystal Tooth here. So let's again hand this in. And I will link in the description the first time I did this level 50 quest, just in case you're curious to see it when I did it on Mifri. And you can just see the cutscene and so on. So, huh. So they didn't change it. She's very much alive and sitting there, even though sad, poor girl is not around. She's not with us anymore. So, anyway, let's skip that, yep, so now let's go back and talk to Linz Saf, who's at the Culinarian Guild. So anyway, A for right, A for net, Culinarian Guild. Right, almost there. Let's turn this in. We're done. I don't need any of these items, so it's complete. So now, we can finally actually wear some gear. Now that I'm level 50 already, so I'm level 50 culinarian. So my third class power level straight to 50. Wow, so I picked up a bunch of low level mats during previous power levels as well that I really should clean out and sell at some point so anyway so let's equip the chantico which is going to give us a plus 16 over the level one that we're wearing and i have all of the artisan gear that i bought from talon in an earlier episode when i was gearing up my level worker so let's get all these equipped so let's see, Culinarian, and the good thing is as well about gear at the moment, I don't know if it's going to change in the expansion, but for now, you can basically just wear one set of gear for all eight classes, so you don't have to get separate sets of gear, but like I said, it looks like we're going to have, we're going to go back to separate pieces of gear in the expansion, but of course I'll be sure to cover that in future episodes, and I need to make an offhand at some point, but that's it. So blue is now 50 culinarian. I hope you found this guide useful um, because I know culinarian can be one of the more annoying classes to level given that a lot of the recipes require just so many different ingredients to make. And um, if you have any suggestions, any tips, any other ways I might have done this a bit quicker, then let me know. I am very aware that there are some leaves that have the potential for free turn-ins but the amount of materials that extra I would have had to get ready for those I just didn't feel was worth the time so that's why I decided to go with the leaves I've selected and as well if you have any requests 
four videos. Like, which power leveling guide would you like to see me do next on my five remaining classes? So I've already done level worker, weaver, and culinarian. Which one of the other five would you like me to do next? And I am thinking almost I might even do a power leveling guide for fishing as well uh, with time. But the only re thing that stops me is that I need to wait for my allowances to recharge. Because you can see I've got 25 allowances left at the moment. You get six per 24 hours, so I need them to recharge. But anyway, guys, that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you find this video useful. Remember, I always detail as much as I possibly can in the description. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the support. Keep this going until the expansion and beyond. And that's it. So thank you, guys. And I will see you next time. And as always, goodbye from me and goodbye from Blue Sideburns. <laughs>